Right, so I'm making this video on uh, just going to show you guys a combo trick that I do to get a lot of MT in VC. Uh, I got pretty much every player. I'm going to get Kobe. And so here's the trick. Let's not uh, waste any time. <clears throat> First one is the uh, clutch time. You could speed the time on it. And then what you do is you get out. Go to the main menu right here. And then go down to features. Well, in Miami. And then what you do is you go into settings, which I can't go into right now. Otherwise, the uh, screen record is going to stop. So it doesn't record the screen when I'm in there. But you go into settings here and go to game speed and slide it up to 100. There's a slider there for it. You're just going to slide it up to 100. What that's going to do is make it slide the game speed to 100 and then go back into my team and play play a clutch climb game uh, this is the lineup that i use there's so many different cards you could use sometimes i play ricky davis um, i got two good shooters and then the rest are golds so now you can see the uh, time is going to be moving fast and what I like to do is like let the clock run. I don't like to foul. I don't like to do any of that stuff. Just let the clock keep moving. Well, still want to score, that's fine. I could score a lot, but I like to just pace it. As you see, the releases are quicker. It's like playing with invincible cards. Uh, so I do a combination with the VC glitch and the VMT glitch. They work good together. So what you do is you just don't foul, let them score, that's fine. And let the clock run, you see the clock's moving. I don't just pass it in right away, I wait a couple seconds. And then pass it in. ISO, and then just feed Tim Thomas non-stop. Usually they, they always go in like 20 times out of 21 times. You just let the clock move. So far, so good. And just let the clock run so far. You're moving pretty good. As long as you're not stopping the clock, that's all that matters. And after this game, I'm going to show you the uh, VC glitch. And then you want to have a comfortable lead where they don't intentionally foul you, so this is not a good lead. You want it to be over time. Almost a minute left. And there was a foul, nothing I could do about it. That's you know, too bad. This stops the clock, unfortunately, and this is like what you don't want to do. You'd rather have just let them score. Sorry to play a little defense, but let the clock move. <clears throat> All right. We have a couple threes. They're going to call a timeout. Probably hit the next three pointer and they're gonna call a timeout after that. So that's like a little time waster. If they're gonna call a timeout at least one time during the game. And they're gonna call a timeout probably. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Let me just run through this real quick.
I don't know. Like, this, Shot's good. This totally kills the time of what I'm going for, but usually this doesn't happen. It's just, you know, sometimes you're going to have these games, but other times you're just going to just dream. Most games are just going to be draining for these, like, nonstop. Once in a while, 2K makes it a little bit more challenging, I guess. You just never lose. And we're in a pretty good lead now, so they're not going to intentionally foul, which is where you want. Normally, I'm up like 20 points, but this is going to happen sometimes. So there you go. They're not fouling, which is good. You want to waste the clock. So I like Robert Ori and Tim Thomas, and then I like Ricky Davis. He's Ricky Davis is probably, if you like quick release, that's the, the uh, best release you could have. But then you got Drew Holiday, who's really nice. It's just like you just flick it up real quick, that's all. So yeah, this is just like a quick clutch time offline game. Just gonna let the clock run. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and show you guys the uh, BC glitch. I'll just stick with the 1,000 usually, that when you see a 1,000, that's like the most. And if you see like a badge, you want to go to the right. All right, so there goes that. And now you're going to go exit out. Here's the VC glitch. For the VC glitch, you go into NBA errors. You're going to build a lineup. I build my own custom lineup, right? All right. I got the Sonics. I put a bunch of like nice builds. So what you do is you sim, first you gotta follow this exactly like I say, here's my game, you're gonna go first to sim with simcast live, right? You're not gonna do this simcast yet, simcast live first. Alright, so once you're in simcast live, you're going to use the right stick as you see on the bottom to make it six times the speed, and the clock's moving fast, right? You're going to let this go and let them play on their own until your opponent, my opponents, the Warriors, when they have 10 points about, 10 or more points, then I'm going to jump into the game. So basically this is a way to get 1100 VC each game in just a matter of minutes. So sometimes they score quicker, sometimes they don't. My team's like really good, so I got a really good squad. And then I have this, I think, on all-star mode. But you got to put it on 12 minutes. I think 11 minutes works too, but I just keep mine on 12 minutes. 12 minute quarters. All right, and then be ready to push the X whenever there's these little timeouts. So they have five, I can't hop in the game yet. <clears throat> when they're gonna get 10 points or more, then I'm gonna hop in the game for, this is still the first step. But first you do SimCast Live, like this. And then you can see the adjust simulation speed to six times, you can move the right stick fo uh, forward to make it faster. So there you go, now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the game real quick. For like, I don't know, even 10 seconds, Wiggins passes to Green. They're just, they're just in this game. Oh, it's blocked by. And then I'm gonna go into Sim. Now I'm gonna go into Sim Cast, not Sim Cast Live. You're gonna go into Sim Cast. And over here, you got two options. So you gotta watch your clock here. You're gonna press X to continue the simulation, and then the right stick makes the clock go quick. But you gotta go right back, make it slow, like in the fourth. Like, you'll get used to how to run this. And then I move it all the way back. I keep clicking left stick, you know. Um, at this point, if, you, if you're going to let it go too quick, then you're going to miss your chance. So basically, you want to stop it at a minute, under a minute left, but more than 30 seconds. You have to have more than 30 seconds left on the clock. And 
like right here, I pressed X to stop the clock. That's what we gotta do, press X to stop it and jump into the game, right? So this is complete step two. Now, what you're gonna do is just like, just, I don't know, play like 10 seconds in here, and then you're going to uh, quit and save, all right? Make sure there's over 30 seconds left. That's the only thing. You have to have more than 30 seconds left. And it's Looney in at the center position, locking down the middle. Minute. Green, the pass to Thompson. All right. Six on the shot clock. So it's like 32 seconds. I'm going to quit and save. While I do this, and then you just want to go like, you know, maybe play another clutch time game or something like that. Uh, usually, I think you don't have to, but as you can see, I have 17,000 VC, right? For example, here. So what I do is I just bounce around. You're just going to play like a quick clutch time game right now or something like that. Just any mode you want. Just uh, Maybe even like just waste a minute of time and then go back into that errors game. All right, so I, I just bounce around. Sometimes uh, I do clutch time and whatever. But um, anyway, I'm just going to go back out now. I'm going to go back into the errors. As you saw, I had 17k VC. So let's go into errors. I'm going to jump back into the game. And now you just finish this game off, like 52 seconds. Usually it's like 30 seconds. Just make sure it's 30 seconds left. You'll get used to it more, and then you'll learn, like, you know, you'll, you'll adjust a little bit how you want. So a Thomas sitting on the bench. But once you get adjusted for this, you're making ton of VC. Then there's Sean Kemp. Then it's Bull Bull. And it's Jordan in at the three spot. Now, here's Jokic. Oh, good on that one. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Paul. And that one goes long. And it's the Supersonics with the ball. Passes it to Jokic. Good on the three-point shot. Jokic has got 35 in the game. He'll knock it down from there too. Jokic can put it in the bucket from. So all I'm not going to foul. I'm just going to let the clock run. You, again, you're not here to. You know, now here's Paul. You're here to just make quick VC get out. So we see the Sonics. So now you should see here. after this, this here, you're going to see that 1100 VC gets added. Once you get out on the bottom left, you see 1100 VC right there. So you're just gonna exit now. Now you can't abuse this. I think it works like two games within like 15 minutes or an hour. So then I go back into my team, and I got 18,000. As you saw, I had 17,000 before. Now what I do, right, is play like either four clutch time games, right, and then go back to the VC, because then that'll complete like the amount of time you need to do it again. Or sometimes I'll go to salary cap. Like I went there and I got Jamal Mashburn. Um, I got, because um, I'm going for Steve Francis anyway. So just do like things that you're going for. Uh, you know, I've already done like all the stuff. I'm working towards uh, Kevin Garnett next. So what I need is, I guess, I got the triple threat online done. I got the co-op done already. 50 wins for Jason Terry. I just got to get the 40 wins for, uh, I guess, like 29 more wins for uh, Harper. And then the unlimited game, uh, I just got to get 5K points. So just basically those two, and then I'm good. So, uh, yeah, but that's what I do. Next, I just play another clutch time game, and then I get out. I go back to errors mode, um, and that's, that's it, guys. But, uh, yeah, that's the video. If you guys have any tricks, let me know in the comments.